I need to throw a missile at him as soon as he lands. And it'll lock him into that phase. Uh, if you miss it, it kind of sucks because it wastes a lot of time. It's not too difficult, but it's pretty easy to mess it up. Uh, this is everyone's favorite. It's math fun. The collective likes to make fun of me a lot when I do math fun. Oh shit. It's really easy to grab the wrong numbers too. So sometimes like I'll try to get the right one and it just looks like I'm dumb, but I know what it is. I have no idea. Like, like <laughs> I hate it. Luckily, um, I didn't get any like hard division questions because I'm really, really bad at division. A lot of times, too, I I'll think it's addition when it's multiplication. I, I do that a lot for some reason. Oh, I get a penalty, too, for failing those two missions. So I get like a four-minute penalty. <laughs> That's why I got a C. Can people actually win this? Win this? Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, And talk about prices. I have a little competition in the Twitch chat. Right? If you PM me, Tampa, the estimate for this run, like what run is going to, the time is going to get, you may win an NES game from a few couples. So you have to PM me before 10:30. So you have seven minutes left. You can PM me either on IRC or Twitch. What game is it? That's a secret. They're going to be four winners. The first, the one that's closer with estimate is going to win. They go to pick first. And so on. The hubcap is a donation incentive for bonus stream. Anyone who donates five dollars or more during any point of bonus stream can win the hubcap signed by many of the runners here. So I got the serve skip. Um, normally there's four phases, and the last two are awful but I locked him into the second phase and I could just throw missiles at him and just kill him. It saves a decent amount of time. Why are you mashing buttons on a cutscene that is skippable? Oh, um, with the text, I have to hold L or R. I have to hold one of the um, shoulder buttons and mash the other one. It makes the text go by faster. Uh, I sometimes I mash A. I don't know. It's just like a rhythm thing I like to do. Like to do that. Uh, doesn't really make a difference. I also like to uh, keep my hands warm. I have a. I don't know. It just helps me stay uh, warmed up. I guess. I don't know. So what's going on in the story? Um, basically that bad guy is dressed up as Marina, and the, the professor 
is uh, very into Marina. So basically he's getting kidnapped, but willingly at the moment. The story doesn't really make any sense. It does, probably makes, like, even if you could read it, even, it's just, it's just silly stuff, really. Uh, hello? Okay. Normally, there's a clip right there, but I messed up. It actually doesn't even save that much time. But I, I won't get the last rank, but it's not a big deal. I think Murray in the chat could explain the story better than I could. I, it doesn't make it. It's just... Uh, basically, Marina and the professor are visiting the Clancer planet for some reason. And his brother wants to kidnap him for I don't know why. Shoot. This is going very bad. Oh, come on. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse, actually, but that's alright. It could go bad. So what made you want to run this game? Um... I think the movement's really interesting. I like how it's like you're flying around and stuff. I don't know, it's just the movement is, is a lot of fun in this game. <coughs> and just the way you hold the controller is interesting. Well, when you speed run it. Um, that's really it. There's nothing more to it. It's got its downsides, but. It's still a really good speed game. I actually, like, I never played this game as a kid. Uh, I remember my friend, I was at his house one day, and he was playing Bongayo, I think it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but he's playing Bongayo. It's a treasure game. It's really fun. And I was checking that out, and I, you know, I looked up to see what company it was, and it was treasure. I was wondering what, you know, like, what else did they make? And this, you know, obviously this is a treasure game. And I remember, I remembered it as a kid. Like, I always saw it, but I never rented it or bought it. I was kind of like, just walk by it or whatever. I think a lot of people did that as a kid with this game. I don't know why it's so like obscure. A lot of people like, don't even know about this game. Um, it had a commercial. I know that. And it's really cheap on eBay too. Like, I bought my American copy like a couple years ago for like six bucks. So it's not even a hard game to find, really. So. For some reason, these kids, you gotta save these kids if they're like trying to fight you. I don't know why. It's called Seven Clancers. Uh, whoops. It's really boring. I don't like the stage either. You basically fight seven like mini bosses. There's actually a better route for this. Peaches was showing me the other day, but I don't really remember. I don't want to like do a route. I don't. I'm not bad at this thing. But Peaches was showing me a route the other day. He sh he showed me a lot of things like I didn't realize. <clears throat> he told me about um, it's like a dash throw. That's pretty useful that I didn't know about. But I probably won't use it at all because I'm just not practiced in it.
Oops. Uh, well, I just went the wrong way. So we save their kids. Uh, this cutscene is where we see, I guess, the, the main villain, which is the professor's brother. He finally reveals himself. So that kid on the left with the hat is Block Man. Apparently, he's like apparently he's like a uh, superhero, pretty much. It's, but he's like no one knows it that it, he's Block Man. It's really weird. So Marine is hurt, and now we gotta play as the kid to help save her. <laughs> when I first started running this, I didn't realize you could run through those like people in the background or these like balls here, and I would always jump over them. So this is like a mini boss. <clears throat> uh, she blows up longer than it takes to fight her. As you'll see. Oops. She just blows up for like 15 seconds. It's very, uh, it just keeps going. I don't know. So they find this like capsule thing and it like heals Marina. I don't know. It's really strange. Do you know who uh, Christopher Mintzpiece is? No. Oh, class, whatever. Yep. He's in Super Bad and if you've seen that movie. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say you look like him. Could you concur? I have no idea. A lot of people, like Bonesaw, say I look like Ed Morton. I hear things like all the time. Like, I hear Dave Grohl. Someone told me Tom Green one time. I don't know. It's just, is that good or bad? Like, who's that guy? Um, yeah. Oh, this fight's RNG. It's terrible. Um, come on. Oh my god. 
This is about as worse as it gets. I did mess up though. Like, I am just feeling really bad. Oh, come on. Jack, do we have time for a couple announcements? Announcements? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Uh, so we have a $10 anonymous donation, and the comment is, I figured out the secret to going fast in Mischief Makers. Mockball. Mockball? Oh, wait, wrong name. Uh, now, we uh, have a couple donation incentives uh, coming up that we want to go ahead and take the opportunity to plug. Uh, we have right here the uh, Rick Dangerous Speedrun. Yes. Which is a $1,000 incentive. Uh, 1000 Looks like it's a 1000 It's never going to happen. Well, it isn't if people don't donate. We should put it on stream anyway. Looks like 1930 that will be the death. Yeah, uh, so people, people in here are really excited about this, and that probably means that uh, viewers should be excited for it as well. Robo Sparkle will play this game. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, is that the kid with the glasses? I am not sure somewhere. exactly when he'll play this. It's the dude who was sleeping on the sofa for the last run. Yes. You you want him to be back yeah. up uh, in front of the camera because he's awesome. Uh, <coughs> in addition, we have a uh, another donation sign that is uh, going through very shortly. Uh, so if you don't see in the tracker right now, you will soon. Uh, and that is, uh, Kiura is going to do a speedrun of the game Sound Shapes for the PlayStation 4 coming up uh, later today. Uh, basically, none of you have played this game because no one actually has a PlayStation 4, but it's a very good looking game. Uh, he's going to speedrun the first album. Uh, the game has, I believe he said, five or six albums. And if you donate, $500, he will do a casual percent, aka a let's play, of the remaining albums. So that's $1,000 for Rick Dangerous. You really want to see this. You really want Robo Sparkle to come back up here. And $500 for the Sound Shapes casual percent extra albums. Rick Dangerous should be 500 This is a trike level. Oh, um, you don't want to do that, though. <laughs> So my terrorist went really bad, and it was mostly my fault. But that there is a lot of RNG in that, that fight. Look, <clears throat> I really messed it up. <laughs> There's no reason to get a B there. This is more animal abuse. I'm gonna fight a mole. Uh, whoops. This is supposed to be a maze. Um, I mean, it is, but I know where to go most of the time. Sometimes I mess it up. Oops. Oops. You can actually skip that dance animation for fast enough. Like, you gotta time it out pretty well. Otherwise, like you'll, you'll fall short or you just won't go at all.
to World Five's coming up, and World Five is a lot of it's pretty boring. Um, it's like a lot of boss fights and a lot of boring, like a handful of bad levels. Like there's an auto scroller. Uh, I think there's like one decent level. There's like one level I like actually in World Five. It's called Trapped. There's supposed to be a puzzle that you're supposed to do, but you actually, uh, well, I'll explain it when I get there. So again, the professor is getting captured. So this guy looks a lot like the main character in Alien Soldier, which is also a treasure thing. I just think it's a reference. I would think. I don't know. He looks exactly like the guy in Alien Soldier. Called, we call them cat missiles. Like there's this cat thing with like a thing of missiles on top of them, and it helps the stage go by faster when you get them. Uh, it's RNG though. Like that. There you go. There's the cat missile. Oops. Chad has been very concerned about the welfare of your controller for uh, a it's, long time. Yeah, I don't blame him. The game gives no explanation to why you're riding an ostrich here. So, here's an ostrich. And then, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm pretty rough with the controller. Even when I play with Super Metroid, I'm pretty hard on my D-pads and stuff. Uh, the, the analog stick is perfect, though, because <laughs> I never use it. So here's the auto-scroller. You just sit in the upper left-hand corner for like 90% of the stage. It's really exciting. To get the gold gem here, you gotta like grab these missiles and shake them. I like hope a gold gem comes out of it. There it is. Well, I didn't get it though. Doesn't matter. To S rank this stage, you have to grab <coughs> the star, like off screen almost, like perfectly. It gives you a very small window to grab the star and S rank it.
And then I did it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? Oh. Oh my god. Please. What is going on? Alright, so that kind of went bad. But it's alright. So normally, you do like a puzzle here to get through the stage. Um, there's these bombable walls in the way. And normally, you wouldn't be able to grab the bomb. Like, whoops. Well, you're not intended to do it this way. But it skips the puzzle. And that just reset the stage, so that's great. Hello? Um, I think it's the next level. It's a boss. It's really weird. You get text bubbles and you shake them and you throw them at the boss. So you have to avoid the word death because when you shake it, it turns into the word life and it gives you life and it wastes time. So I had to like memorize what was the word death in Japanese, but it wasn't too bad. It's pretty distinct. It's one character and like it's got a, like a hook on it that I'd look for it.